In previous videos we've shown you how to decorate jam jars and mason jars using the thick water-based paint. In this video we're going to concentrate on solvent-based glass paints which are best used flat. So the three projects will demonstrate how to work flat and then move that work to the jam jars or mason jars. I have assumed you know the basics about glass painting and if you don't I suggest you look at our videos on outlining, basic outlining skills and flood filling. So for the first project we used solvent based glass paints on acetate. This is just normal acetate or OHP film or as you want to call it. Use traditional method, put the acetate over the design, piped it with black outliner and then flood fill painted it. Next stage is obviously to cut your piece out. So here's one I did earlier, which is actually the one to go with that. So I've cut it out. Now it's not adhesive, so to get around that we shall turn it upside down, work on a bit of paper you don't mind getting glue on, so I'll work on that bit of paper there. It's upside down. I'm going to use just normal PVA glue. Looks white when it goes on, but dries clear. Make sure we've got our jar handy. And the glue goes onto the back of the design. And the reason to use a piece of paper underneath is we want to make sure we get it right up to the edges. So I'm going to use a paintbrush. And just try and get a nice coat of that. And it needs to be a very thin coat. Don't put too much near the edges so it will squish out. But we will. use a cloth to catch any bits which escape. So we are a nice thin coat of paint. Let me just get that one bit I've had my hand on. Now normally I'd leave that to dry just a little bit so it goes tacky dry but as time is getting on I shall get my bit of cloth, make sure I have that to hand, make sure this is the correct way up, where I want it, and on it goes. Now because I haven't let it go tacky dry, I may need to push that down hope you saw that going on but never mind. I may need to push that down a little bit after a few minutes. Now I'm just going to use a nice clean cloth there to catch any little bits of glue which are where they shouldn't be. If they are and if they seem reluctant to come off don't worry let it dry and you'll be able to take it off then. So as you can see that is now on there. I'm already noticing I'm having to push that down. Try and keep that glue off the piece. But as I say, that glue will come off when it's dry. Don't worry about it too much at this stage. What I will do, and again I'd leave it normally to fully dry first. Let me use my tape holder there, that should hold it. There we go. What I'm also going to do is, if, I don't know whether you can see those slight gaps, I've got the three circles. I'm going to put some glass beads on those, I've got a red one for the middle, there we go. Some nice glass beads on those. I'll do the top one first, let that dry, move it round, do the next one, move it back, do the next one. 
and then all four five glass beads will be on there so let me get my glue put a dollop in there and because I want to make absolutely sure that doesn't spread out too much I'm going to leave that to go tacky dry before I put my bead on so as I hope you can see we left that one to go tacky dry put the glass uh, beads on and now I've just, just got these last two I'd put the glue in already hopefully that's gone slightly dry there's one and there's two now all I have to do is leave those to dry and when they have done I'm going to put the final cut this piece out put that on the other side and that'll be that one finished now the second project is a lot easier because although it looks rather like the first project I've actually done this on a glass painting film an adhesive glass painting film rather than acetate and that means I don't have to mess around with glue etc again I did exactly the same place the film over the design piped the outline and then flood filled with the paint I've done this design because I wanted to show you that what I think they call negative light sounds a bit weird but negative light can be quite important when you've got a bright light behind and we're going to put it on the jar there the light obviously won't come through the black paint and we should get a really nice outline of the pumpkin in front of the light obviously with the mouth and eyes showing through so all we need to do is find our sellotape again here's our sellotape I just use a little piece and this is the way I get the backing sheet off hopefully it should lift away there we go that's the backing sheet off I'm not going to take it all off just the, the very first part like that and I'm going to get my jar and make sure it's in the right place and the right way around and then rather than my messy hands I'm going to use a cloth and I'm going to peel away the back as I press it down and that way hopefully we won't end up with too many air bubbles in it I'll worry about the edges last It's going to come off all these pieces. Okay, lock on that. No, not sure it has. No, there's a bit left on there, so let's try and keep that off the glass. Must I just get that bit which has broken off? That's got it. There we go. bit of outline of that get my fingerprints off and make sure it goes around the curve and is stuck down with this glass painting film you may need to go back just after half an hour and ensure that it's all still stuck down properly 
and there we go we'll see what that one's like when it's lit up tonight so for the third and final technique you'll see again I've done a lot of preparatory work which could say that word I measured round the jar all I did in fact was wrap a piece of string around the jar marked it off straightened it out and I know this is too big I purposely made it too large which I'll show you in a while I haven't quite got around to cutting this one out so the first thing I'm going to do is cut it out and I am going to cut off the outliner at both sides that's not an error I'm doing it on purpose I won't do it at bottom and top I can do it doesn't matter all I want is a nice straight line and again cut off the outliner on this side I know I'll have to cut more than that off but that will do for now there we go so there's my piece here's my jar and as far as I'm aware that should wrap around nicely with a slight over overlap now I don't want quite that much overlap so I'm going to do something about that and it is going to be important to get this on here so it's roughly symmetrical all the way around there we go now I'm going to cut off a little bit more I'll decide which side in a second this side I'm going to do it with the knife and the ruler so I've got a nice straight line I know this will cut through my paper but hey ho there we go nice straight line there let's try that again wrap it round that's fine it just meets and a bit lower than that there we go and it meets I must admit at this stage this is when I could do with a third set of hands but I haven't got a third set of hands so I'm just going to work with the ones I've got so now I'd like to introduce this which is 9 mil adhesive lead you buy it on rolls if you want to get really technical this has a slight sort of overall profile it's not quite flat what I'm going to do is cut off a piece and that length nice overlap on each side if the overlaps too large do not worry because we will be able to deal with that need to get that onto there just checking I've got this the right way round I think I'll put it uh, that's it so I'm going to put it on this end so I take off the backing sheet hopefully I can get it done with my finger if not use the craft knife And obviously I don't want it to stick to anything else just the work so let's raise it up a little bit and that should go nicely as straight as possible on there let's have a look on the other side yep yeah, that's got it fine so now I've got an adhesive strip down there we are going to wrap the work around 
This is going to be the difficult bit. Try and get it level. And stick. There we go. Now, obviously, that neither looks very good. Nor is it on there very solid. I'm just taking it away a little bit because I want to move it down a fraction, I've decided. No harm with that. So what I'm going to do now is one, I'm going to run a piece down the opposite side, so it's symmetrical. And then I'm going to run a piece around the bottom and a piece around the top. At the bottom and the top, it'll be half on the work and half on the glass and that should make it nice and solid onto the glass. So I'm going to start by doing running another piece symmetrically down this side. So if it's too big don't worry you will be able to cut it off later. Just should have enough of a gap there. Yeah, that is an only just, as it will do. There we go. Press it down nice and hard, so I've got a piece symmetrical on that side. Now I'm going to run a piece around the top. I'm going to start just to the right could be your left of this piece I'll show you so I'm going to start with it there make sure it's on the glass and on the piece what I can do is peel backing away from this end work my way around and peel the backing off as I go. That's half of it done. Going around. And to finish, I'm going to make sure I go over a bit which goes down and slightly over where I started. And then I shall finish there. There we go. Now you may notice if you've got good eyes there's a few crinkles etc there. I'm going to push it down. Make sure it's stuck nicely to the glass. Still crinkles but at the moment I'm just pushing it down. A special tool it's not a special tool really they sell it as a special tool what it is is hard plastic any hard plastic will do um, I have used credit card in the past and it just smooths it down because it's very pliable you will be able to get most of those crinkles out with a little bit of work now, as you can see I hope you can see my original piece pops out the top there 
I'll get my knife on that in a minute and cut it away. And there we go. I hope you see that looks okay. So if I get my knife in and cut that spare piece off there. There it goes. And now I'm going to do the same to the bottom, making sure I start and finish in roughly the same place. And again, I think you can see, I hope you can see, I've got a bit of an overlap there. So I'm going to get my craft knife, mind my fingers, and just cut that off. And there is just about the finish pot. I'll probably do a little bit more work on that leading. Hello, we've got an overlap up there as well. There you go, there's all the overlaps off. I hope you agree that looks rather nice. <laughs> 